to the best five minute wine podcast. I'm your host, Forrest Kelly. From the sea to the glass, wine has a past. Our aim at the best five minute wine podcast is to look for adventure at wineries around the globe. After all, grape minds think alike. Let's start the adventure. Our featured winery is. We continue our conversation with Matt Burson, vintner and winery owner of Portland Wine Company. Being in the Willamette Valley, Matt, how do you separate yourself from the other wineries? Do you have a specific wine that you um, take pride in? Everybody makes a Pinot Noir. That's the main grape that's grown here. You know, what makes your winery stand out or uh, what's the other thing, you know, that you have. And since the beginning, for us, that's been dry Riesling. When I first took over that restaurant list, there were some Oregon Rieslings on the, in the cellar that I tasted and I was blown away by how expressive they were, how exciting they were. And that's really what started me hanging out with Jimmy Brooks and some other people who were really championing Willamette Valley Riesling. We've sort of taken on that load and we love it. It certainly is an uphill battle because people have preconceived notion of Riesling as something they're not going to like, which is a strange thing since they've learned to like Syrah and they've learned to like pink wine and they've learned to like lots of other wines. That's something that we pour for everybody who walks in the door. What's part of the process do you think makes it so good? The fermentation of that is all in a small stainless steel and we keep it very low temperature and ferment it sometimes for up to six months until it reaches the balance that we're looking for. That low and slow fermentation helps keep those real volatile but fine aromatics in solution so they don't cook off like you would think if you're like making a stock on your stovetop. If you boil it too much, you lose some of that nuance. Additionally, as a nice surprise in doing that process, because the fermentation is going on for so long, the, the leaves that are in that solution are being gently stirred just through the CO2 that's in the fermenter. Not too much, but you build a little more texture into the Riesling. So you end up with something that has some really nice texture, but maintains high floral aromatics and has a nice whack of acid as well to keep it fresh and exciting. That's the the Riesling. And we make make reserve Riesling as well and a single vineyard Riesling because that's how we believe in it. Okay, looking at your website, I see where you have Hello Wine Lovers. It's the peak of summer. And whether you're at the lake, hiking in the mountains, or just hanging out in your backyard, you need a portable and delicious beverage. Yes, we rumble can. Wine in a can? What? Angie, my wife and I decided to put a little bit of wine in cans and I came up with a name. I call it Rumble Cans. It sounds fun. It's like a rumble in the jungle or uh, ready to rumble. It's something that we just sort of we just thought we'd try out for fun since we now we, we didn't have a tasting room until 2019. And now we have people coming by and wanting to grab something to go and particularly a lot of people picnicking and Portland being a place where a lot of people have an active lifestyle. We thought we'd try a lifestyle product. As we close out our conversation with Matt Burson of Portland Wine Company, Matt, I'd like to ask, you know, becoming a a wine owner and a vintner and all the things that go along with it, uh, what would you say would be a big struggle that you've, uh, you know, had to overcome and kind of uh, get some clarity with in making your wine a success? Some would say the success is selling the most expensive wine or selling the most amount of wine, getting the highest scores in the magazines. For me, and I guess this is a little philosophical, but for me, it's figuring out how to make the best possible product and be proud of it and find the people who like it and champion it. Find your level of satisfaction, pride, and success within that. Excellent. Way to drop the mic, Matt. (laughs) (laughs) You got me. You got me in the mood. Thank you for listening. I'm Forrest Kelly. This episode of the Best 5-Minute Wine Podcast was produced by iHism. If you like the show, please tell your friends and pets and subscribe. Until next time, pour the wine and ponder your next adventure. This is Doug Vincent with the podcast Walk and Roll Live, Disability Stories. In 1956, I contracted polio. Thanks to my loving parents, I've lived a full, rich life over the past 67 years. Join me as I share my journey and uncover inspiring stories of resilience. This podcast is a platform for survivors of disability and those who champion services for the disabled community. Tune in on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, whatever your favorite podcast platform is. 
Let's walk and roll together on this incredible journey of strength and empowerment.